Hey everyone, do you want to see a competition between two of the shadiest TikTokers? You don't? Well, too bad, I made the video anyways. And welcome to Curse Mojo, and today we are taking a look at both Nova Online and Tofiachu. <laughs> TikTok is no stranger to strange creators, but not in a positive way. It seems that every few months, TikTok would spit out tons of controversial creators, filled with some form of bigotry or predation, maybe even both. And sadly, many of them are autistic, and with how terrible a lot of these actions are, it's not a real excuse. Whatever happened to Dax Flame? You know, the awkward endearing type. He was the gold standard. He gained so much popularity enough to appear in popular movies, like Project X and 21 Jump Street. You know, I heard that movie could cure anti-semitism, which is more than I could say regarding the subject of this video. Anyways, among these creators, there were a few rivalries, and the most infamous was a feud between Nova Online and Tofiachu. Both of them are just very awkward weirdos doing their own thing. Nah, cause I know you're lying, I need to know who my Disney parents really are. Now, I know you just did not Book carry with them a lot of baggage. Nova Online and the TikToker who got popular doing food reviews. Trying Wingstop for the first time. Cajun seasoned fries. Okay. Mildly spicy, but nothing that I can't bear. These are actually pretty decent. 8 out of 10. Book is overshadowed by a strange diaper obsession. Yeah, we're dealing with another one of those people again. And Dofia Chu is your basic TikToker, who started to get a reputation of her impractical ambitions, general nastiness, and her very strange family. Proving a mixed race woman could be just as worthless as a white male neat. What an icon. Come here, smell my shirt. Oh wait, I don't have anybody. I'm too single for this shit. Goodbye. And these two absolutely hate each other, making numerous TikToks and videos accusing each other of horrible things. A hint of racism and then saying it's not racist. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Today, we're going to be using our own judgment to see which one holds up the scrutiny. I asked everyone at the Curse Mojo office which they prefer. However, I don't actually have an office, or employees, or even a company, so it's just me. Now, in the end, they both lose, but who loses less? Let's find out. I have nothing else better to do than sitting your fat asses, hating on small TikTokers, just trying to be fun, but all you want to do is falsely accuse them of crap they never did. You guys have no effing father. Number 1. The Original Beef This all started when Nova tried to cancel Tofia Chu over some very racist and transphobic remarks. This is a message to Tofia. Guys, Tofia is racist towards Mexicans, and she says horrible stuff about Asians. And Tofia, if you're watching this, I'm calling you out. This is not right. Now, in my opinion, it's pretty gray. She's half black and half Latina. Like, it's really strange to castle a black woman for saying the n-word, right? Well, to some, it is. There's also the use of the B-slur, that is used against Mexicans. And therefore, not every person of Latin descent could say it, or something. You're saying, oh, she admitted to calling Hispanics the B-slur. The B-slur is used towards Mexicans, and I think my family comes from Spain. Excuse me. Um, I'm Hispanic. So by your logic, if black people claim the N-word right and I'm Hispanic, and you're saying the B-slur is used towards Hispanics, that means I can claim it, right? So why is there an issue that I'm saying it if I'm Hispanic? You can sort of tell that Tofia's haters come from a different camp, with some being more far left than others. I don't really know how it works, and there's a lot of stuff about her saying the R word like, I don't really care. Another thing that Noah focuses on is her lifestyle. Tofia hasn't worked in years due to certain reasons. So the day I got fired, um, she had that I had hygiene issues. Which Nova likes to use a lot because in certain points of his TikTok career, he still worked a job alongside. Which is proven in a local news story of all things. Can I get a French onion soup please? Because doing the bare minimum is absolutely noteworthy. But a lot of this is pretty broken. Not because of the message, but the messenger. Where Nova is equally as shady, including having a racist uncle. Making a mock drink about me and thinking that he dragged me. You didn't drag anyone. You should be dragging your uncle who's racist and also transphobic because I remember the post that your uncle posted where he said, um, 
if people are offended by this, which was the Confederate flag, then I'm offended by this, which was a, bu a picture of a bunch of young black men standing together with their pants sagging and saying that he's offended by that. However, I don't think that's very fair to Nova, as Nova isn't his uncle. And it doesn't seem like he endorses the terrible things his uncle would say, true or not. But Nova themselves did once identify as alt-right, which is a term used to describe white nationalists. However, Nova themselves is pretty PC, even identifying as non-binary. I mean, I guess you could find people like that somewhere on Twitter. But none of it comes off as genuine. I'm sure his How I Was Radicalized video would be more like, I was alt-right, but I didn't know the definition to it. With some people looking into his past actions in his Discord, including his diaper obsession, that instantly shuts down any discourse, throwing stones at a glass house. With many people criticizing him for being the wrong person to call her out. Like, sure, maybe he's right with some of the stuff he says about Sophia Chu, but you wear diapers. Weird. I think it's fair to say that Nova lost. Point goes to Sophia. Fucking bitch! This is all part of the reason I turned fucking emo. Content. Both creators are your typical TikTok schlock. Stuff like voiceovers, app rashes, cosplay, bike size shorts to keep you distracted. Nova has numerous different series, terrible generic feud reviews, that really aren't as funny as I thought they were going to be. Second is just as good as the first time. Now, technically, I did already have this, but um, my reaction wasn't really genuine. I was going to make a curse mojo about that, but they were all just boring. By that I'm saying the Chris Bonato went viral, not my video. And there's lots of terrible karaoke that are just awkward and bad. They were so bad that I heard he actually got kicked out of those bars because of it. I was gonna do a list of that, but again, more bored than you'd think. Also, there's these really dumb shotgun soda things. Tofiu Chu is a lot more random, just doing whatever she wants, with one recurring theme of her lusting over Asian men. What's the update on the American clone? Good job. And you, did you make the sale yesterday? Yes, yes I did. Good girl. Um, uh, 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 De Declan, what day of the week is it? <laughs> But her true viewership comes from her live streams, which shows her very gross moments, and her chaotic family life. And the most well known of this is her father, Papa Chu, who might be the most interesting figure in her streams. I'm 58 years old, and I am teething. Right now, I am teething, teething, teething like a baby. However, this is quite a detriment to Sophia, as Papa Chu is more interesting than her. This is a hard choice, as they're both so mid, but I believe the verdict goes to Nova, as he attempts to structure his TikToks. And it also helps that the detractors are more entertained by him, instead of a side character like Sophia. That being said, point goes to Nova, because at least the people are watching for him specifically. Every nation is to print 999 zillion dollars, and wait for my instructions. Number 3, Physical Prowess. Now imagine for a minute if Nova and Sophia were to duke it out in real life. Yeah, I know it's stupid, just bear with it. Both of these people are very obese, and they don't really have any fighting skills. Nova Online also has another series that shows him exercising and lifting heavy weights. This regimen consists of him eating a lot of junk food. Being 260 pounds. I don't think this is working out. Sophia Chu, on the other hand, does seem to be a lot more overweight. It actually would be a surprise scene or even stand up. It's also worth mentioning that Nova has a lot of anger issues. So, in an IRL fight between him and Sophia, Nova's version rage might be beneficial. And I guess through these circumstances, I will say point goes to Nova. Not by doing anything right, but because the opposition didn't even try at all. Point goes to Nova. Just know that um, my gym called me. They told me um, that my membership was terminated. Viewership. Who has a better public relationship with their fans? These users have around 300k followers. And when they started out, they seem fairly innocent. So I imagine some of the viewership has dwindled as their growing lockout reputation started to take over. Nova and Ophia had their own history of scams. So who scammed their fans the best? 
What's good, y'all? It is Tay Nova Kadri. I'm actually in a good mood for once because um, Cameo Cyber Monday sale is officially on, on top of Cameo Gold. Nova Online had issues by not doing Cameo video people paid for. There was one person who requested a Cameo and had been waiting for three months. His Cameos are literally $70. And was involved in the project Ohio the Anime. However, he had acknowledged most of this. I cut ties with the high of the anime, but what I didn't know is that behind the scenes, Lassen was scamming people. Lassen, you're effing scamming people, bro. Sophia, on the other hand, had her own issues, and she would ask for donations to improve her living situation, but also have enough money to make it to Comic-Con, which is a huge head-scratcher for many. What also adds to this is her spending habits, as she buys tons of food using DoorDash, which is all very expensive and adds up a lot more than basic shopping. And now you're sitting here, you did spend money, you did spend money going back and forth, going to Comic-Con, you wasted money going to Comic-Con when you could have wasted them, when you could have put the money towards your moving costs. Now both of these are pretty bad, but I say the point goes to, hey, don't flip me off you jerk, talk about rude. You know what, point goes to Sophia just for that. So congratulations for skimming your fans the best or whatever. I don't think anyone should give you money to move. I don't think anybody should do that. And if you do give her money to move, that is on yours. That's on you. That's what I think. I think you're scamming people. Sophia, don't. Sophia. Number five, allegations. I said before, it's better to be accused of racism than pedophilia. Holy shit, what the fuck? And that's the bulk of Sophia's crimes. However, there are some other misdeeds. There's also the comment she made saying age is just a number. That being said about Wesley Bulba, who is 45 years old, where Tofia is 30, with the context having to do with an age gap on adults. Wesley Bulba is also very prominent in Tofia Chu history, as it is speculated that Tofia Chu scared him off social media with her stalking like behavior. But there's no real proof that she actually did this, it's just a common assumption. But the fact that people are thinking that probably says something. But what's also the most infamous is looking up Asian teens in the next video. This is the the before the incident happened of the trans. Uh -huh. So Sophia has an old iPhone. She was screen sharing on her iPhone on April 4th. So when she was gonna move to another site, her phone transparent. It will show her her recent search that of these. It shows these. This is a transparent and someone was able to get a screenshot of this. But here's where Tofia lied. She oh said God. the person who supposedly made it did it to ruin her. But here's the thing. The person who got it was my friend. Now, teens on these porn sites usually mean 18 and 19, so that's not really enough. There's also very poor moderation Discord. I want to say this, like, I, I, about the Discord working with a certain person to expose me, I'm really not concerned because at the end of the day, there's nothing, what are you going to expose a group chat? Like, I, I, to be honest with you, the Discord things are going to expose me, like, what information I'm going to get? A group chat that had mostly adults in it? Like, come on. We all know. It's crazy. Those people, like, there wasn't anything really in there. We had rules. We couldn't say inappropriate stuff. That was that. Legit, it's around the age that I am. There's been several people around my age that was in that group chat. I wasn't the only one. Like, hello? Anyways, all of this looks very bad, but could be circumstantial. Other times, it might have been ignorance. Now, Nova is a very different story. As said before, Nova is an adult baby diaper lover, which means that he has an interest in pretending to be a baby. Now that's weird of itself, but what's even more worse is that he involved other Myers to partake into this, interacting with them in very inappropriate ways. You followed nine-year-olds on TikTok when you were 19. You sent videos to minors showing them that you wear diapers. Now, this could all be non-sexual platonic, but I mean, let's be real, it really isn't. That would have been plausible deniability at the time, but when talking about the clips in the interview, Dova claims the servers were 18 plus. He also claims he saw the girls were 18. But it gets even worse when you look at the Discord messages. That totally isn't helping his case. It's pretty clear that both of these people are neglectful and should not be operating a forum in the first place. Looking through all the evidence, I think Tofia has the least worst allegations. However, of the two, Nova's allegations are far too concrete and shady, enough to cast a lot of doubt on a lot of his actions. So I think it's fair to say the point goes to Tofia. So tallying up, Tofia wins the competition. Does that mean anything substantial? 
Absolutely not. Before I contemplate the last few minutes, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, you see some of my other content. Hope to see you soon. Would you ship it? Let us know in the comments.